we want to assume quantum theory of gravity. So uh, consistency of a quantum theory of gravity. That means gravity is well defined with the properties involving black holes, with other particles, with the consistent set of rules of scatterings and objects and all that. So we have a set of rules that we can check whether they are consistent. And that's what I mean by quantum gravity uh, being good. If you handed me one of those, I would start asking questions like scatter this, do that, do this, to see if it's consistent. And maybe in some regime, I see some extended objects because that's one of the things that I expect. And then maybe a string, maybe a membrane, maybe something else. So therefore, these are the tests I will run this object or theory that you, you give me about. So string theory by now, by now, uh, I think is... Um, I would say, at least to me and many of my colleagues, convincingly, uh, perhaps uh, uh, possibly the only theory of quantum gravity, but, but it's always, I think, good to be open-minded in possibilities of other possible theories that could exist. Um, I think it's also, if you even want to understand just string theory, having this perspective is good because it tells you how, for, what are the fundamental things in string theory? What, are, what, did, what, did, what makes string theory tick? What are the basic reasons or ideas that go into it? So you have to step back away from string theory to try to get that formulation. 